here is I've got a power steering pump off of a 2001 Honda Accord. Okay, and the line, this is a pump that I got off a JDM engine that I purchased to put in one of my cars. And it's still a good pump. It had lots of oil and stuff around it. Anyway, I had a good pump already. The hose was already cut. So I'm, I repurposed this as a pump to pump for transmission fluid changes. Okay, so what I did is I came up with just some hoses, like this is a three-quarter size to five-eighths, something like that, something that you can get to put into your new. This is the new transmission fluid container. This is the suction side of the power steering pump, okay? This power steering pump turns counterclockwise to pump, okay? This is the old transmission fluid, and as you can see, it's really nasty. So, what I did was I connected all the lines, I got someone else to start it. And then I ran this pump and I matched the flow rate. Do it with clear containers, clear containers and a big bin under it because you're going to make a mess. There's no way to do this without transmission fluid getting out. So you're going to have to have a big container to capture everything because you're going to make a mess. That's the way it is. On this Isuzu Rodeo, this particular vehicle, that's what it is, it's Isuzu Rodeo. To do the transmission uh, fill is a pain in the butt, okay? It doesn't have a dipstick, it's got a, a height meter in it, it's really weird. So I like to do things like this on these cars. I will match it one for one, uh, what comes out, what goes in, it's real easy. This particular vehicle is really nasty, okay? It's going to need more than that. And I only got a gallon, so that's all I'm going to do for now. But we do it once a year, we change the fluid, it works real good. Look, let's look at where I connected it. So this car has an auxiliary transmission cooler on it. Okay, and I've got, this is the pressure side. Pressure side, I've got it connected to the, to this side of the, uh, the radiator, okay? The pressurized side, the pressurized fluid coming from the engine is coming from here, okay? It goes in here and comes out there. And that's, that's the way I connected it. Want, you can disconnect this hose and connect it. This is your feeder drain. Okay, the other one goes back into your transmission. Basically, you're just pumping the fluid back into the transmission. The transmission is pumping the old fluid out, and all you're doing is using that power steering pump to pump it back in. That's it. One for one, no high speed, no dead draws. Okay, you don't want to blow up something inside your transmission, but by doing it without it being running. And if you do it too high speed, you could overrun something. So just something you have to be careful. If you do this, there's no guarantees, okay? You're doing this on your own. But that's what the setup looks like. It works really good. I'm really happy with it. Take it easy.